I'm JT, and you're listening to Jersey John and myself tonight. Streaming the 5-5 with a $10 rock PLO. And we haven't had too many uh, pot bets. Everybody's no. been putting out some bets. That but that, that, tells, that usually tells me we have experienced players. Because pot seems to be a strategy employed by players newer to the game. And pot usually signals strength from those players. It's the value bets that tell me, okay, this player's a little more experienced. He's betting 250 into a $400 pot. He's not going full pot. And uh, generally, like, you'll see a lot of mistakes that beginners will make is pot. They'll go pot, pot. And that usually gives away the strength of their hand when they do that. When I was a kid, we couldn't say pot in our house unless we were cooking. <laughs> Queen, Queen, Jack, four for Boz. So he's holding one of his flush outs. And Nell has double suited eights. That's nice. Oh, oh he flops the set. Flops the set. Board's very coordinated, though, so he's going to have to be. I mean, we have to be careful here. I mean, he definitely wants to bet it. He needs to, he needs to charge those draws. But I don't see. Max pay, 250. I don't know what B has. But it, it, to me, it seems like B would have the type of hand that would uh, coordinate well with this board if he was in this hand pre-flop. Chris has a double race. gutter. Chris has a, a double jack gutter. or six. That's yeah. non-red. It's going to be a nice card. He's going to look it up. Let's see what B does here. I just have a feeling he has a kind of hand that connects well with this, but it looks like he's folding. He's disciplined. Yeah. He's hating it, but he's disciplined. Now, what if a... A non-paired diamond comes out there. Or how about a black ten just to give a nice scare card? Chris, yeah, a nice little scare card and give Chris, you know, gives him the jack. It gives him. He bets three twenty-five. He's getting looked up. Three twenty-five. There, three fifty. I mean, and now has got bottom set. That is. Not a great position to be and in on Chris this board. And Chris has been showing every hand that's been a winner, and he's been making a lot of hands. So now we're talking about bluffs and PLO. This, mm. this is a this is a spot where a bluff can can get through. Um, it's a big bet too. He's gonna look it he up. He looks it up. But what if what if a two comes off a non? I'm not gonna, Can he call? I'm not going to lie, JT. I probably would have folded there. Me, personally. I oh, think I a would diamond comes, giving, oh, a six to diamond, giving Chris a straight. Yeah. Plus, it's another scare card. Plus, it's. Oh, my God. And he bets. And now would never have checked had he gotten there. He's going to fold this one just by his reaction to that bet. Yeah, he can't beat a straight. He can't beat a flush. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. man, I got unlucky. Oh, no. He's reaching. He's going to call it off. Straight. 7-10 gets there. A 10, a 7 and a copy, I should say. Yeah. Or Jack and a copy. What the hell you been? No, just a 7. Just a 7 and a copy gets there. Uh, and I was looking back, just making yeah. sure he's not missing anything. But <laughs> Ooh. That's like, again, uh, that's a spot where I'm not in love with my bo bottom set there. You're going to see that a lot where bottom set is just going to get crushed in those spots. Um, I would have folded, personally. I, 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 I've, lost too many, I've lost too much money with those type of hands. <laughs> Bubbles in the building. Get your glass of wine and click like and subscribe.